Ladies and gentlemen, the ceremony has begun. It will last approximately for 45 minutes. Could you please ensure that your telephones are switched off or set silent? And now, would you please stand for the procession? seats guys Welcome to the University of Northumbria at Newcastle's graduation ceremony to celebrate awards for graduates of the class of 2020 and the class of 2021 who have successfully studied at the Qatar Finance and Business Academy. The ceremony is now open for the celebration of awards of the classes of 2020 and 2021. We celebrate the awards today under the patronage of His Excellency Dr. Mohammed bin Abdul Wahid Al Hamadi, Minister of Education and Higher Education, and in the presence of His Excellency Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad bin, uh, bin Qasim Al Abdullah Al Thani, the Deputy Governor of the Qatar Central Bank and the Chairman of Qatar Finance and Business Academy and Dr. Khaled Al-Hur, the president of QFBA Northumbria University, as well as esteemed board members of the QFBA 
and other distinguished colleagues and guests. In the spirit of this ceremony, it is only fitting that we begin with an inspiring verse from the Quran recited by Ahmad al-Siddiq. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الرحمن علم القرآن خلق الإنسان علمه البيان الشمس والقمر بحسبان والنجم والشجر يسجدان والسماء رفعها ووضع الميزان ألا تطغوا في الميزان وأقيموا الوزن بالقسط ولا تخسروا الميزان والأرض وضعها للأنام فيها فاكهة والنخل ذات الأكمام والحب ذو العصف والريحان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان خلق الإنسان من صلصال كالفخار وخلق الجان من مارج من نار فبأي آلاء بكما تكذبان رب المشرقين ورب المغربين فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان مرج البحرين يلتقيان بينهما برزخ لا يبغيان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان يخرج منهما اللؤلؤ والمرجان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان وله الجوار المنشآت في البحر كالأعلام فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان كل من عليها فان ويبقى وجه ربك ذو الجلال والإكرام Thank you very much, Mr. Ahmed. Now, Dr. Khalid Al-Hur, the president of the Qatar Finance and Business Academy, will address the congregation. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سعادة الشيخ محمد بن حمد الثاني نائب المحافظ ورئيس مجلس إدارة أكاديمية قطر للمال والأعمال أعضاء مجلس الإدارة الموقرين الضيوف الكرام أعضاء الهيئة التدريسية والخريجين الأعزاء يسرني أن ألتقي اليوم بكم بعد ثلاثة أعوام من انطلاق مسيرتنا مع جامعة نوثمبريا التي فتحت آفاقا جديدة للطلاب والموظفين الطامحين لتحقيق المزيد من النمو في مسيرتهم الأكاديمية والمهنية في المجالات المحاسبية والمالية من خلال شراكتنا مع جامعة نوثمبريا التي يمتد تاريخها لأكثر من 135 عاماً ركزنا على تقديم البرامج المتخصصة في المالية للمساهمة في رفع قطاع الخدمات المالية في الدولة بالكوادر البشرية المؤهلة واليوم نحتفي بالنتائج المميزة لهذه الشراكة 
والمتمثلة بتخريج دفعتين من خريجي البكالوريوس مع مرتبة الشغف في عدة تخصصات أهمها الصيغة الدولية والمالية والاستثمار والمحاسبة يختلف احتفالنا هذا العام عن الأعوام السابقة فاليوم نحتفي بتخريج دفعتين معا كما نطبق معايير السلامة المطلوبة وفق اشتراطات الجهات الصحية في الدولة ويحضر معنا من منازلهم خريجين لم يستطيعوا أو لم يتمكنوا من الجلوس معكم اليوم بسبب جائحة كوفيد-19 الحضور الكريم يتخرج اليوم 143 خريجا وخريجة من دفعتي 2020 و2021 يحمل خريجون 18 جنسية مختلفة وهذا يعزز واحدة من أهم قيمنا وهي التنوع كما أن 70% منهم مواطنون وهذا يعزز قيمة أخرى من قيمنا وهي بناء الكوادر الوطنية لقيادة القطاعات الحيوية في الدولة إن التحديات التي فرضتها جائحة كوفيد-19 سرعت تبني التعليم المدمج وتطوير المناهج لتناسب مع هذا النظام في التعليم بما يلائم متطلبات العمل في القطاع المالي كذلك وفيما نسير قدما لتحقيق مزيد من الإنجازات الأكاديمية لا يسعنا سوى النظر بعين الاعتزاز لخريجين المتميزين والذين أظهروا أعلى درجات الالتزام بالتعلم والإصرار على النجاح أعزائي الخريجين مثابرتكم واجتهادكم بعد توفيق الله لكم قادكم لمكانكم هذا اليوم نحن فخورون بكم ونثق بمهاراتكم وقدراتكم التي ستساهم بإذن الله في تحقيق المزيد من التقدم لقطاع الخدمات المالية المعرفة والمهارات التي اكتسبتموها خلال دراستكم الأكاديمية ستعينكم على أخذ زمام المبادرة والعمل على تحويل الأزمات إلى فرص واليوم نجدد التزامنا تجاهكم بأننا سنظل عونا لكم في رحلتكم المهنية لتوجيه طموحاتكم نحو مستقبل ناجح وتحقيق أهدافكم المضيفية للمساهمة عن في تحقيق رؤية قطر الوطنية 2030 كما يسرني في هذه المناسبة أن أتوجه بجزيل الشكر لكل من قدم الدعم لكم سواء من أصدقائكم أو أفراد عائلاتكم والشكر موصول للهيئة التعليمية ولفريق العمل المخلص الذي لم يدخر جهدا في جعل رحلتكم تجربة تدوم ذكراها ختاما أود هنا أن أقتبس إحدى مقولات سيدي حفظ صاحب السمو الشيخ تيمين بن حمد آل ثاني أمير البلاد المفدى حيث قال الإنسان هو أهم لبنات بناء الوطن وأعظم استثماراته فيكم استثمرت قطر وبكم تعلو ومنكم تنتظر شكرا لكم جميعا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Thank you, Dr. Khaled Al-Hur. I now call upon Ms. Maryam Rabia Jassim Al-Badr, graduate representative class of 2020, to share her thoughts with the congregation. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. وبه نستعين وعليه نتوكل والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Good evening Your Excellency Sheikh Mohammed bin Ahmed bin Qasim al-Abdullah al-Thani the Deputy Governor of the Qatar Central Bank and the Chairman of the Qatar Finance and Business Academy Dr. Khalid al-Hur the President of QFBA esteemed board member of Qatar Finance and Business Academy, respectable academic judicators, loving family and friends. My name is Maryam Bial Bader, and it gives me a great honor to be here on behalf of, of my class 2020. Look at us, we did it, and thank you for this true privilege. 365 days ago, I remember a time where respectable professor Nasr Bu Mustafa my senior classmates and I were discussing about the next financial crisis. Little did I know, the prediction became true and it's unlike anything we've ever experienced before. That's right, COVID-19, a global outbreak that has gravely affected every one of us. Whereas face-to-face -face communication were prohibited, lifehood were changed and communities were locked down. Classes of 20 and 21, we have been challenged. As we have moved into a uniquely vulnerable era of this time, with unpredictable fears and uncertain emotions, 
we have pushed, strived, adopted, and hassled ourselves through our first online Zoom meetings, our first virtual classes, and online friends hangouts. This was not what I think is in my mind and how we're gonna create our memories. But regardless of the complex and the challenges, we all have been faced with varying paths each of us has walked to make it to the seats we are sitting tonight. As Her Excellency Sheikha Hand bin Hamad Al Thani once said, there will always be challenges, whether they be economic, political, or even environmental, but we have to ensure we are ready to face them. Through these challenges, we find new ways to push ourselves to do more. We now have to look forward, continue our journey, and go further to surpass even our own expectations. In fact, that is so right. Watching the world changes in so many ways before our very eyes made us dig deep to find our self-value and a force of determination to embark our journey. I can proudly say that we have finally made it. Therefore, on behalf of my class 2020, I would like to send our sincere thanks to our caring parents who always believed in our potentials and our friends and families who always encourage us to move forward. And of course, our, our masters of our life, our professors who have supported us in this uniquely time of the day. And not to forget QFBA North Ambria for having that support to make our journey became true. Well, this might be the last time to see our class together in one place, but we shall be remembered as QFBA North Ambria family and will stay forever in our hearts. I know that my speech should be less, but you never know whose life might change tonight. So I have to say it. Please, please, and please, and when I say that, I do mean it. Do not underestimate your self-worth. As we all are same and no one is different than the other, the only thing that makes that person uniquely different and better is that person is never ashamed of their failure. That person is always there for taking opportunities. That person dream and dream with goals. We all have been born with unique talents and messages to be heard, and it's okay if we don't know it yet. However, this certificate is a pure evidence that you can do beyond your capabilities. So always remember this, to dream fearlessly, work passionately, live meaningfully, and love selflessly. Congratulations, classes of 2020 and 21. The world is waiting for you. Thank you, Ms. al -Badr. I now call upon Ms. Aisha Muhammad Ibrahim al Mirza, graduate representative class of 2021, to share her speech with the congregation. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good evening, Your Excellency, Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad bin Qasim al Abdullah al Thani, Deputy Governor of the Qatar Central Bank and Chairman of Qatar Finance and Business Academy, Dr. Khalid al Hur, the President of QFBA, esteemed board members of the Qatar Finance and Business Academy, and respectable academic judicators. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Aisha Almeza, and on behalf of the class of 2021, I'd like to welcome friends, family, faculty, and leaders. Thank you all for being here today, especially during these uncertain times. It is an honor to speak to you all after such a difficult year we've all had. 
Alhamdulillah, we all have the privilege of being here today. Before I start, I'd like to say thank you to a few people who made today possible. I would like to thank my family and friends, but most importantly, my parents, for always supporting my decisions and continuously believing in me by helping me step out of my comfort zone. They taught me to always be kind, honest, grateful, and to have courage. Thank you to our mentors and to all our teachers that I could get through this and not only achieve what we all came here for, but most importantly, care for my father at the same time. So I spent months with my laptop trying to do my online classes beside my father's bedside in ICU while I was trying to monitor the machines and I was hearing constant alarms. But alhamdulillah, I did it. I'm standing here and my father is now in recovery. So the moral of this story that I share today is when you have strong faith, patience, determination, even the impossible is possible. Most of us will face obstacles in life, but we must learn to overcome them and never give up. So my words of wisdom for today are, keep your faith bigger than your fears and count your blessings every single day. Secondly, control what you can and let go of what you can't and always balance both rest and productivity. Lastly, surround yourself with genuine, good-hearted people who want the best for you and never judge a book by its cover. I believe pressure and challenges are all opportunities to rise and we are all capable of rising. Always remember there is no I in team as together everyone achieves more. Congratulations, classes of 2020 and 2021. I am proud of you all. We did it. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Al Mirza. I now call upon His Excellency, Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad bin Qasim Al Abdullah Al Thani the Deputy Governor of the Qatar Central Bank and the Chairman of Qatar Finance and Business Academy. Also, Dr. Khaled Al-Hur, President of QFBA, Northern Bria University, and Professor Nasser Abu Mustafa, Dean of Academic Affairs. Due to the current situation, some graduates are attending in person while others are attending online. Your Excellency, Dr. Khaled and Professor Nasser, I have the honor to present the graduates of Bachelor of Arts with Honors in International Banking and Finance, class of 2020 from Northumbria University who have studied at Qatar Finance and Business Academy. Abdul Malik Islam Siam. Abdul Rahman Al Ansari attending online. Abdul Rahman Marifia. Aisha Al Durham attending online. Al Anud Muhammad Al Hajri. Ali Hassan Yusuf Al Majid. Amira Fatima Anas Amina Muhammad Al Manai attending online Aqila Fattah Al Saeg Bushra Al Alwani Dana Ali Zainal attending online Dana Sultan Al Majalli Duha Muhammad Hijazi Aisa Al Buainain attending online 
فاطمة فخرو attending online فاطمة البدر attending online فاطمة محمد الصفر حسن علي العالي attending online هند هشام كامل هند شاهين الكواري attending online حصة ناصر الشهواني جنيد أحمد خالد محمد السليطي attending online خلود حسن المريدي لطيفة هاشم السادة لولوى محمد الكواري مها صلاح الدين شبوح محمود علاء السماك مالك عبد الكريم دواس مريم عز الدين الحداد attending online مريم علي اليوسف attending online مريم علي علمي attending online مريم خالد المناعي attending online مريم ناصر مريم ربيع البدر ميادة أبو حسان attending online ميادة جلال الجردني محمد غازي الراشد محمد جنيد attending online مثايا البدر الأحمد ندى حسن عبد الله ناهدة خان نواف عبد الله الكواري attending online نوف عبد الله الهاجري نور المجبر attending online روضة المالكي attending online ربا محمود أبو سعد رقية محمد زراع سعود آل ثاني attending online سارة عبد العزيز العبيدان سارة عبد الحميد الأنصاري attending online سارة الترك attending online سارة جابر العبد الله سارة جابر المطيري سارة محمد المنصوري سارة علي الحد سيدة جبيدة كتار تماضر علي المناعي attending online طارق يحيى كيلاني attending online وقاص أحمد Your Excellency, Dr. Khaled and Professor Nasser, I have the honor to present the graduates of Bachelor of Arts with honors in International Banking and Finance Class of 2021 from Northumbria University who have studied at Qatar Finance and Business Academy. Abdurrahman Walid Mansour attending online. Aisha Muhammad Al Mirza. Aman Al Khatib Al Hassani. Bashair Al Maliki. Fahad Abdul Aziz Al Nasr attending online. Fajr Khalid Al Muhannadi attending online. Jasim Khalid Imadadhi attending online. Carlos Khuri. 
خلود حسين العبد عبد الله لولوا محمد الأنصاري attending online مها عبد المنعم الماجد محمد يانيس عداش منى ناصر العبد الله نور راشد الملا ربيعة طارق رانا ريما خميس الكواري سكينة فاطمة Your Excellency, Dr. Khaled and Professor Nasser, now I have the honor to present the graduates of Bachelor of Arts with honors in Finance and Investment Management, class of 2020 from Northumbria University who have studied at Qatar Finance and Business Academy. Uhud Faiz Ahmed. Dana Abdelaziz Al Yusuf. Aisa Ali Dabhani. Fahd Muhammad Al Imadi. Hamid Al Majid attending online. Ibrahim Abdul Rahman Al Warthan. Khalifa Al Haiki attending online. خلود محمد طير منيرة حمد المناعي نور خالد محمد سارة محمد المهندي attending online سارة يوسف الدوسري Your Excellency, Dr. Khaled and Professor Nasser, now I have the honor to present the graduates of Bachelor of Arts with honor in Finance and Investment Management class of 2021. From Northumbria University who have studied at Qatar Finance and Business Academy. Ahmed Saad Al Ghanim attending online. You're here? <laughs> Al Anoud Nasser Al Suwaidi. الدانا أكتم البقالي عالية محمد العدبة عاليا محمد العدبة علياء سريع الكعبي عاليا ناصر العطية attending online أمينة جمال الملا آمنة حمد الهاجري آمنة محمد الخالد آمنة محمد البوعينين attending online بدر عبد الرضا عبد الله attending online دانا خالد المظفر دانا يوسف لذياب attending online ضبيا خالد المناعي Faisal Saif Al Muhannadi attending online. Fatima Hassan Bahla attending online. Fatima Hassan Al Nasr. Fatima Mahmoud Salat. Rada Yusuf Kalla. Hassan Imad Makhi. حوراء حسن باكر 
Haya Ahmed Al Thani attending online. Hissa Abdullah Al Mani attending online. Jabir Saeed Al Sabai. Maryam Majid Al Marzuki. Maryam Salmin Swedi. Mashail Majid Al Sabai attending online. Muna Jabir Al Mtiri. Moza Ali Al Mas. Nasr Hassan Al Nasr. Nayef Sultan Al Maadid. Nof Muhammad Al Manai. Noor Abdullah Al Dehnaim. Saeed Jafar Al Imam attending online. Saeed Muhammad Al Ammari attending online. And Sheikha Adjufairi also attending online. Your Excellency, Dr. Khalid and Professor Nasser, I have the honor to present the graduates of Bachelor of Arts with honors in accounting and finance class of 2021. Abdul Aziz Muhammad Al Ishaq. Abdullah Abdul Rida Abdullah. Ahmed Shams Al Alam. Aisha Samir Abdul Hadi. Ali Fadl Batka. Batul Muhammad Sardar. Hana Yasameen attending online. Then Huda Abu Akla Sleiman. Khalifa Saeed Al Kuwari attending online. Mirza Ivy. Noura Hassan Al Abdul Malik. Raja Dia Al Din Al Rabah. Rehab Zahid. Saeed Avari attending online. Sara Ibrahim Al Mani attending online. Sheikha Hamad Al Qahtani. Sultan Fahad Al Madahka attending online. That concludes the presentation of graduates at this ceremony. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests. Your Excellencies, uh, distinguished, <laughs> distinguished guests, Pro Vice Chancellor, International of Northumbria University, Professor John Reist, will now address the congregation through a recorded video. Principals, Executive Dean, distinguished guests and graduates, ladies and gentlemen, Although current circumstances determine that I cannot be with you in person, it gives me very great pleasure to welcome you to today's graduation ceremony, celebrating the success of Northumbria University students at Qatar Finance and Business Academy. Today is a very special day as we recognize your individual achievement and commitment as you receive your award from Northumbria University. Graduation day is the highlight of a university's academic year. It's the celebration of the achievement, values and qualities to which all universities aspire. 
Congratulations are due to each and every one of you. You've studied hard and I will, I'm sure, have learned a great deal during your time with QFBA and Northumbria University. These are indeed unprecedented times and none of us could have anticipated how your time with Northumbria University would draw to a close. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for your focus, your commitment and determination in navigating the last challenging months with us and successfully completing your studies. Today, you're being rewarded and recognised for your personal academic achievement and for developing the critical ability to question, to challenge and to innovate. And I've no doubt that as finance graduates, you will make valuable contributions to your country's vision 2030. These really are exciting times. You, our graduates, have developed the skills, knowledge and experience required to advance your professional roles. I'm confident that you will thrive as you continue to build your careers. Northumbria can trace its origins back to Rutherford College in late 19th century Newcastle. More than 140 years on, Northumbria is empowering a new generation of innovators, visionaries and change makers to transform lives, to make a remarkable impact on the world and to take on tomorrow. We're a university that challenges the status quo, one that is positioning itself as the natural choice for outstanding students, staff and partners. We're a bold and confident and ambitious university for a changing world, one that produces highly employable global graduates just like you are today. You, our graduates and global citizens, are at the heart of this work as we inspire, power and equip a new generation of innovative leaders. Northumbria is now a top 30 university and we are the top ranked UK university in the Times Higher Education Young Universities World Rankings. We're ranked in the top 50 in the UK for research power and of course we hope to see similar growth when we receive our REF 2021 results uh, this time next year. Northumbria's global footprint is also changing. International in our scope and reach, we have operations in London, Malaysia, Indonesia, Sri Lanka, Singapore, Amsterdam, and of course here in Qatar. These partnerships and collaborations are helping us create global graduates with global career opportunities. Today, you become Northumbria University and QFBA alumni. We hope that your experience as a Northumbria student has been both life enriching and exhilarating, and the university can offer you continued support in your careers and your lives. I urge you, use what you've learned here with us to help create a world which will be different. Use your ability to shape the future. Graduates, today marks the start of your tomorrow. I thank your family and friends for the support and encouragement they provided to you. I congratulate you warmly on your achievements and I wish you every success for the future. Lastly, it's my very great pleasure to welcome you to a worldwide family of academic excellence and achievement as graduates of Northumbria University. Congratulations. Thank you, Professor John. That concludes the ceremony. We wish to extend our sincere and heartfelt thanks to your excellencies, Dr. Alhur, and other distinguished uh, guests for making this such a memorable and enjoyable occasion. We also congratulate all of our graduates for their achievements. Thank you, everyone, and have a great night. Would our graduates and guests please stay seated as His Excellency and the VIBs leave the hall. And please remain seated until after the academic procession has left the hall.
please, guys, no more instructions or directions. Enjoy your time. Congratulations again. Take your time and take as many pictures as you can. Believe me, you will go back to these times with a big smile on your faces, enjoying every bit of it. Uh, feel free also to have some food outside. Congratulations again. <laughs> I don't see any hats on the husk.
Ready, Dan? Photographer, where is the photographer? He's outside. and takes an hour. Yeah, please. العنود محمد الهاجري العنود سليتي ناو العنود سعيد السليتي Never forget this. 